Hello everyone, this is Andrew. I'm the product manager from Chronix. And today I would like to introduce our new cellular product, JWave 2740. It is our new industrial cellular PoE gateway. In this video, first I will have short introduction for our basic function. Then I will bring you the application story so let you guys to understand what's the design concept. Okay, so let us start from the front side of our product. As you can see that we have two uh, internet ports up to giga speed. And there is more, we also provide you the PoE function. The total, bar, to, total power budget will be 60 watts. So that means we can comply with uh, IEEE standard 802.380 mode. So each port can have 30 watts power budget. Okay, then here we also have two SAP slots up to giga speed. And at the bottom, we have the reset button here uh, to allow you the operator can reset the device from the field side. If you push the reset button from three to seven seconds, then you can reset the device without changing the IP setting. But after seven seconds, uh, you will back to the default setting, which means the IP address will no longer exist. Okay, here we have the top side. Uh, you can see that we have two SIM card interface, so we can support you the dual SIM are redundant. Then for the uh, <coughs> antenna here, we have two different models. For the wide antenna here, we support the Wi-Fi SKU, so we can have 2.4G and 5G. And even more, we support the high-speed A02AC. Then for the cellular model here, we can have the U-band, and also we have the US-band. And for the throughput, we have support the LTE Cat3. Uh, 100M downlink and 50M uplink. Okay, here, here is our button side. You can see that we have dual power redundant and also the digital output. Finally, we got the back side here. Uh, we put the uh, uh, DIN ray in the middle so we can avoid the vibration and keep your equipment safe. So here is the total, uh, the introduction for our basic function. Okay, so let us look at the first application story here. The first one will be the channel monitoring system. Uh, inside the channel that we may have uh, several information or data need to be monitored, such as video surveillance, traffic control, fire alarm, broadcasting, or even the temperature. So as you can see that we put our GenNet 5310G inside the channel, uh, which is our industrial grade PoE management switch, so that it can easily to uh, connect to the IP cam with the PoE function or any other sensor or device. Oh, and also, uh, usually inside the channel, the distance will be quite long, so using the uh, fiber cable to connect each switch device. Then, uh, as you already know, that for the JetWave 2714 can provide LAN to LTE solution with PoE and fiber data transfer. So we use uh, one 2714 in front of the terminal and the other one in back of the terminal, so that we can support for the LTE redundant. Okay, so here are the key features for the 2714. We have the compact size for cabinet and also the PoE function can easily power on the IP cam. Here is another application story for you, industrial LT row side cabinet. As you can see, it is a simple traffic control system here that we usually use the IP camera at the traffic side. And also there is another outdoor AP nearby which can support you to gather all the other information or data nearby the, this local area. And then, so in this application, we use the Wi-Fi version of the 2714 that it can support you to connect to two IP camera with the Ethernet port by PoE function. And also using the Wi-Fi function, we can connect to the outdoor AP. So, and after gather all the information here, we can still use the fiber port to pass this information to the central control room. So uh, we can provide you all-in-one solution here. You don't need to buy the PoE switch, uh, while it's AP and another maybe like a media converter to use the fiber. So JWave 2714, the Wi-Fi version, can provide you the all-in-one solution. 
Okay, thank you for your time. And if you have more questions about our JWave 2714, or even if you want to know more about the detail, please contact us for the Coronix Facebook page here and also the Coronix mailbox. Thank you. See you next time.